Welcome back everybody, this is Brother Mutant here. Today we're going to work on another accolade. This is the Freedom Phalanx Reserve Member Accolade. This is a really important one for those of you that want to stay alive. This is a plus 10% hit point bonus permanently to your character. Much like you get this for the Atlas Medallion that gives a 5% increase to your maximum endurance. It's the same, but again with hit points, but 10%. So this is a really nice one to get. This one requires a, a few things, more than a few matter of fact. We have a lot of exploration badges. Uh, we have an authority badge for history badge. We're going to do that first, make sure that's taken care of. And then we have uh, a few defeats that we'll have to bust out. We'll let's see how close we are after we get everything else done with those. Uh, but basically, what this one is going to be is uh, hopping around. We have Talus uh, Island, a couple uh, plaques to read in, in the uh, IP. Uh, we have uh, one in Dark Astoria, uh, Terra Volta. So let's actually do the Dark Astoria one first. Uh, this is my blabber for those of you that are interested in why i'm doing it on this character he needs the hit points more than anybody not that any character wouldn't need the hit points uh, but this is a particularly useful thing for someone that's going to be up in melee taking a beating uh well, hopefully not uh, this character when i finish with him uh, this is a uh, radiation blast slash energy manipulation blaster build uh, with a epic power pool pick into the leviathan set specifically so we can get knockout blow i got uh, shark skin which of course is extremely useful and you'll see i also have the ability to spit toxic uh, breath on them this bile spray particularly useful and this is characters you know themed after you know superman for obvious reasons uh i based him on superman slash lex luthor's experimentations basically caused him to um uh be radioactive hence the you know super rad man says super so he has kryptonite heart, hence the reason that you can see his uh, radioactive rib cage, which I kind of dig. And I even like the little pulsing you got from this. And I love the fact we can change the color schemes now of the epic power pools, which I made this uh, green, obviously, instead of the typical blue, which is the default setting. All right, anyway, we were looking for a plaque. Uh, let's see, authority, right? So number one, we already have done it. So that should be a thing. Matter of fact, we should probably check just to make sure we don't have these things. History, student, authority. We already have it. Okay, but let's actually just show you where they're all at. Uh, so that's fair. Because uh, that's what this video was for. So come to Dark Astoria, Echo of Dark Astoria. Remember, that's a little different. So we're going to come to the Echo of Dark Astoria. That's a big fall. Uh, straight ahead. Again, if you have video maps, it'll show it to you. Number one is the authority one. But we'll show you what the plaque is just so you can see it. one I think it is. It's just past a ramp. Yep, and turn around. There it is. That's your guy right there. This is what you want to click. Again, do it twice. Is there anything I need from here while I'm in the area? Uh, from exploration badges. Steel, Skyway, Kings Road twice, IP once, Echo Galaxy. Nope, looks like Echo Galaxy though is one that we're going to want to hit as well while we're in. Uh, Praetoria would probably, or Praetorius, while we're in Ouroboros, I will go do that one just to have it out of the way. But that's the one that you needed from Dark Astoria. Uh, and then everything else will be in the normal zones, uh, again, except for this exploration badge, which is in uh, the Echo of Galaxy City. We're going to do that next. We're going to hop around a little bit, kind of get things a little out of order. I should have these ones as well, but again, I want to show you where they're at. So, Echo Galaxy City. Brawler badge is number three. Where's number three? Right there. So, set our head right to it. More or less. Other side of this pantheon here is the Colosseum. Well, I thought Brawler badge would be somewhere fancy. Apparently, no. That's your badge right there. Your brawler badge number three is to prove to myself. Yep, brawler badge number three. So that's all you needed from this area. Now from here we can hop back, back to the teleporter. We'll finish the rest of the authority badge just to show it to you folks. More likely than not, then what this means is that I probably have everything else except for the defeats. Something else to show you. 
Uh, so we're going to head back now to Ouroboros. Uh, we're going to finish the rest of the history badge just to show them where they're at. So we're going to go to Talus Island first. Uh, we'll be able to teleport down there through the Ouroboros port around the front of this building, which is the, that little icon over there. no exploration bags that we need from Talos, so that's good news, okay? Alright, so now we're looking for Talos, we're looking for the authority badge, so authority plaque. Day job badges, authority plaques number one again, very nice. Number one way the heck over yonder, so let's actually just head in that general direction, looks like it's out on an island somewhere. Um, right next to uh, badge number one as well. Uh, this is going to be a statue in the middle of nowhere, uh, the water, and uh, there will be a badge on like the toe, like the front over here, and then the plaque's going to be around the back side, if I'm not mistaken. And again, we don't need the badge over here, but I'm going to show it to you just because we're already in the area. So if you're looking for badge number one, there's your bad guy right there. We're actually looking for plaque number one, and there it is, about the heels. So that's the authority plaque right there. From here, we want to head to Montreal. Uh, let's head down, down the list. So uh, IP, uh, be the next one, Independence Port. Uh, and there are two of them in this area. So that's a common mistake. I would say people would make if they're not paying attention. So we'll find you both of those. So we have the badge. I think there's, yeah, there's an exploration badge in the area that we need as well. So heading to IP. Let's do a uh, north, I guess. I don't even remember which one is which. Oh, let's see. So two authority badges, and we're also looking for the vigorous badge, which is an exploration badge. So let's actually oh, turn that off. That not accepting it, but it won't be bothered. All right. So where's our authority badge first? Plaques one and two. Okay, so plaque one's right there. Reasonably heading towards it. And then two, ah, two's just south of us, that one cut well. And we'll look for that vigorous badge after this. So now this one here uh, will be up on this uh, road, this bridgeway. Uh, it'll literally be as you're hit into the um, High traffic area, there'd be a plaque on your left hand side. So, right there, heading right to it. Boom, right there. Just double click it to prove it to yourself. And again, I already have this, so I'm not worried about it. We're heading out to number two, which is down yay. Over here by the tailor. And then we will look for the exploration badge while we're in the area. That way, you guys don't have to travel back and forth and back and forth near the same zone, it's just silly. So this one's up on this road here. Straight ahead, right in the corner. Boom. Easy peasy, pumpkin squeezy. Alright, so now we're looking for the Vigorous Badge, which is also in this area, and this Exploration Badge. So, zoom out here in Vidiot Maps. Vigorous is badge number three. Now, maybe that one up there is hard to tell stuff in the way, but I don't think so. It's not that three. That's a different kind. That's a letting you know there's different stuff going on. Same with one over here. There's three. Oh, real close to it, too. That worked out well. Okay, so this, oh yeah, this is on top of the building. So in between these uh, ductwork, if I'm not mistaken. Here it is. Right there. And that would be your vigorous badge, as indicated up here in your video maps. Now, that covers everything for IP. From the next thing we would do for history plaque, you want to go to Dark Historia. Dark Historia, Dark Historia. How do we get to that one? Um, oh, yeah, over right here. Oh, we already did Dark Historia. What am I talking about? Did that on purpose. Uh, Terra Volta. Yeah, yeah. So we're in the area already now for Terra Volta. Right there. Okay. Head over to the icon that just clicked. 
Uh, for those of you that don't know, if you ever want to do a respec, and now they've been generous in giving us respecs for free. Every time you level up a character, for every 10 levels you get, you get a free respec. So as a, once you get to level 50, you should have had accumulated five of the things. And you also have all builds, which aren't respecs, by the way. You can have basically two different builds. I think you can actually have three different builds, if I'm not mistaken, possibly even more. But uh, those are different than respecs, so make sure you're clear on that. That's a whole new set of enhancements that you'll need. All right, so now we're here. We're in Terravolta, and we're looking for the plaque, for the history plaque. So where's our history plaques? Your badges. No, that's not what I want. Here we go, plaques. Authority plaque, that's the one I want, right? Yeah, the authority badge. So number one. So we're looking for number one plaque. No, three. Okay, all the way over that way. So let's head that way in general. Anyway, the point that I was trying to make is if you ever uh, don't have enough uh, chances to respect a tune, which is kind of silly. I mean, really, if you have five, you probably have figured out what you want to do by then. I sh not shouldn't be picking up about that because there's a lot of ways to make mistakes or just things that you're just like, oh, I would have done this different if I knew that. So, uh, for those of you that are interested, uh, Terra Volta uh, houses one of the ways for you to actually do a respect mission. There are three respect missions in the game, and I believe, don't quote me on this, I believe you can complete them multiple times and therefore get a respect each time. You do not get to save them, so you don't get to stockpile them, like do it 20 times and have like 20 respects. I believe you get it, you have to use it, uh, not right after the mission or anything like that, but you do have to use it before you can acquire it again, if that makes more sense. Uh, so here's your plaque. This is your authority plaque number one plaque right there. And that would have finished off everything we would have needed for the authority badge. Now, uh, there is nothing here in Terra Volta for exploration badges that we need. There's plenty of exploration badges. I just have to grab them all. Uh, but um, we do need to head to Boomtown. Uh, we already did the one in IP, and we have a couple in King's Row, and one in Skyway City, and one in Steel Canyon, and that will finish that off. Uh, and then from there, it's just, just, it's three defeats, and the defeats are, just so we're clear, 100 Freak Show tanks, those little big suckers. Uh, you need to defeat 100 Clockwork Gears from the Clockwork Princes. When a uh, Clockwork Prince gets defeated, for those of you that have fought them before, you'll know that he spawns like three or four gears uh, from his corpse. Easy enough to get, usually to do the, the task force uh, um, as you're leveling up, which I highly recommend you, you complete many of these things or get real damn close. Uh, and then from there, I just want to make sure I'm heading to the right direction, sorry. Uh, from there, uh, we need a hundred fake nemesis. That's probably what's missing on this tune. I'll show you where you can hunt those little goopers. Uh, but I want to get all the other badges first, and then we'll see which ones I'm missing. Uh, if you really uh, work hard at um, Task Force, uh, completing all the ones for Task Force Commander, which will be another video that I will put together actually quite quickly because it's one of the ones I've completed on another tune. Uh, it's very popular and I highly recommend it. It's the easiest, well, easiest. It takes a lot of time. Uh, but it, one of the easier ones to get because really all it is is complete this many task force and boof, you're done. So you do those and I want to say that one's like a 5% increase to your hit points, which is a really nice one. Um, could be the one that's 5% and 5%, but I think that one's Portal Jack because that's the cooler one. All right, so we are going to, uh, let's go to King's Rule first. So we already done Galaxy Cities Brawler Badge for Exploration Badge. We've already done the Vigorous Badge from in, uh, IP, which we were just at. Now we're going to King's Row, and there's the Summon Badge and the King Sighted Badge. Okay, so where are we? We need the Summoned and King Sighted. So we need one and four, okay? So now one, right up here. Oh, that's one of my favorite ones. Uh, this one is a, a common one to have trouble finding. Uh, it is up in the corner. Uh, three is a 
hard one too. I'm going to show it to you even though we don't need it. Simply because it's actually one of those that's particularly useful. Oh, yeah, what am I doing? That's plaques. Eight badges, badges. Did I say one and four? Yeah, keen sighted. Yeah, it's four. Okay, I'm going that way. Sorry. <laughs> I'm about to say, I thought I showed you this already once before. Different thing. We're looking at plaques versus badges. Okay, so we're looking for badge number four. Badge four is here. And badge one's going to be way down at the bottom. Yeah, okay. Shut that off because now we know we're heading the right direction. Oh, okay, so this one here uh, is going to be in a tower. So you see these uh, big towers in, above you? Uh, it's going to be, I want to say, right up in here. There is your guy. Boom. And sometimes there's guys up here. So there'll be bad guys spawned in the area. Be real careful, especially if you're low level trying to do this stuff. Uh, again, if you see an opening, a chance to get it when they're not there, or you scare them away from it, chase them off, they fall down, and you can fly right back up to it, and they can't, then feel free to do so. Uh, but that's number four. Number one is all the way down here at the bottom of the map. With a decent travel power, though, it's pretty easy to get to most of these things. That's why usually I'll spend like a half a day when I'm bored waiting for my friends to get online. I'll just be traipsing around the city looking for stuff. But this one here is going to be ground level, I believe. Yep, right there. That's number one. So now that would complete everything from King's Row that you need from here. From there, we're going to go to... Let's hit Skyway and then Steel. Take the train. We can just hop from city zone to city zone if they're connected. Uh, and I have no rem uh, memory of where exactly these things are. I have this all written down, so you know, don't think that I'm like, oh, he just remembers everything. I don't remember this shit. So what, what paper and pens are for. So uh, we're heading over here, though, to head into Skyway. And the badge we need from there is called the Purifier. Purifier badge. All right, just cut through the zone tunnel like this. Poof, inside you go. All right, so purifier badge. I've been in one here too, so I should have most of these things done. That's nice. Purifier's number one. Makes it really easy on us. Not the plaque again, that's the mistake I just made. Uh, all kinds of good stuff in here. There's a three, it's a seven, eight, I see two kind of one one oh, gee, really in the top corner. Wow. Game just hates me. Um, but if you like I said uh, are waiting for a task force to start. You know like you're in this zone. I've done this before too where like they're putting the team together. I just happen to be pick number two. So I'm the second person on the team. They're like just give me a minute I'm putting together the team. It's gonna be you know just a few minutes. Yeah you sure do whatever and, and just Realize that you haven't been through the zone already. I'm gonna badge hunt do while I'm waiting. I'm gonna be in the zone. Just you know, holler when we're starting. Okay. And you can do half or all of these while you're waiting for them to assemble teams. Sometimes it makes it extremely helpful. To, like I said, to have the uh, video maps, it's just so that you can get this stuff taken care of and not really have to you know, keep paper notes in this stuff. Uh, and again, you can log online. I have the notes here. I'm not gonna read them off to you, but there are the coordinates online, easy enough to find. So. They do have those three coordinates, so if you don't have video maps or just don't want to risk you know, harming your computer by downloading stuff you just don't trust, so it's perfectly valid. Um, I trust them, doesn't mean you do. Uh, by all means, uh, go with the locations. You just do backspace, LOC, press enter, and boom, there's your coordinates. Move a few feet, do it again, and that's the direction that you move. You'll notice that things change. Again, the middle one is the uh, ground level. Uh, below ground level negative, above ground level, like on top of a building, for instance, would be a massive positive number. And then there's uh, north and south, and I believe this is east and west. So this one here is in the court, right there. Boom, that's that one. And that takes care of your, where did I lose you? Purifier badge that covers that one. So let's head to Steel Canyon now. Oh, that's Atlas Park, and I don't need to go there. This road, Talos. Fault line, Perez. I guess we're heading to the train. We're not attached to Steel Canyon from here. It used to be, and I'll get there. It used to be though back in the day that me and my friends would play this all the time. We would know exactly what zone. Oh, we need to go to Boomtown. Oh, you need Steel Canyon. Oh, you need to do this. You need to go there. Oh, you need to hit the, the North Train to that one, and it'll be just outside that map zone. 
used to have all that shit memorized. And now it's a cluster pile in my brain. I'm trying my best to piece it all back together again. Oops. Caught that really with my toe. All right. All right. So we're heading to Steel Canyon, and I'm going to have no frame of reference for if it's north or south. Well, based on my notes, it doesn't tell me anything that I'm going to know. Uh, so we're just going to pick the south. And we are looking for in Steel Canyon the Nimble Minx badge. Okay. Nimble mix, nimble mix. The rod, bad, nimble mix. Number three. And again, we have ones that we can't really see. Could be that one right there. Let's take a let's zoom out and take a look. Nope, three. North. Okay, so this one's so far north. Uh, what I'm going to do is, since I went south, I'm just going to hop back in the train. You know, go around the corner and take the north train to Steel Canyon North. Be easier on myself. You don't want to kill yourself, right? And since you've already uploaded the zone, the good news is it just ports over there. You don't have to do anything crazy, like reload the map or anything stupid. Just poof! Oh, you're over here now. So here's your nimble minx one. It's up here. Do, do, do. Ooh, right past it. A nimble Minx. Now, let's go over our list. And we have a Nimble Minx Steel King. We have a Purifier Badge from Skyway City, we just showed you. Two from King's Row, the Summon Badge and the Keen Sighted Badge. Uh, then we had Vigorous uh, Badge from uh, IP. Uh, Echo Galaxy City had the Brawler Badge. And then now we're looking for Boomtown. Boomtown is on the top, so that works out well for us. Boomtown will be the last stop, and that's for the Regal Badge. Regal. All right. Like I said, more likely than not, I have all these explorations and history plaques done on most of the tombs. I get bored. Maybe you don't have it in here, though. Regal. In tunnel number two. I bet you I do. Yeah. But let's show it to you because some of these are weird. Uh, for those of you also that don't know, I'm just going to show this to you as a deviation, and I apologize because it's not one you need right now. But. This is an example of where video maps is wrong. See how it says that it's over here? It's not. If you go farther down, this plaque is down the wall here. This is plaque number five. For those of you that are looking for it, save you the trouble. That's uh, the scholar plaque. It took me forever to figure it out. And someone finally pointed out to me I felt like an idiot for not just scoping the area out a little more. For some reason, it was real hard to see at a distance, though. So I will say that that's fair. Uh, but it was tough. So now we are looking for badge, not plaque, badge 2, and we are told by our video map that it's in the tunnel. So more likely than not, it's down low. So you see we're coming up on the top version of it, clearly not in the tunnel. But if you overshoot past it, you'll probably get an idea of whereabouts in the tunnel the tunnel is. There's our tunnel. Wow, ah, there's a tunnel. Boom, boom. That's it. Aha, there it is. There's your badge number two. Now that's uh, the Regal badge. Now that would have covered all your exploration badges that you would have needed now for uh, the Freedom Phalanx Reserve member accolade. So the only thing that is left, uh, we've done the history plaque, uh, all the ones we needed for the authority badge. We did all the exploration badges as you just saw. And now we need to find out which kind of defeats we need the tank buster badge the gear smasher badge and the unveiler badge now hopefully i got the first two done best way to do this is go to your badges go to defeats and in many cases when you look up online they will not say defeats they'll say accomplishments it's a lie if it's a defeat 200 of such and such more likely than not this is the uh, badge you're looking for not this damn thing or achievements i can't remember if one of those two they, they list them wrong all the damn time so you really want the one that says defeats Okay, so um, we were looking for the Tank Buster, Gear Smasher, and Unveiler Badge. Now, I don't have all three, I know, because I don't have the Accolade. So let's actually look for the ones we might have. Here's Gear Smasher, so good news already. Don't have to defeat the Clockwork. Tank Buster, do we have that one yet? I don't see it. Yes, we do. Okay, so really, the only one that we need, then, is the Unveiler Badge. That's Fake Nemesis. Uh, that's those... Uh, I'll have to show them to you. It's kind of hard to explain. He, he looks like a big mechanized jackass. Um, first I'm going to find him. It's going to be one of these ones that we don't have, right? We said so. So I'm going to try to find the one that says, Defeat the Fake Nemesis, and we'll keep it to that page. 
so we can find it easily and keep it, keep track of how many we got to defeat. We got a lot of things to defeat. Look at a thousand Rictic monkeys, and I that's no joke. Here we go. Fake nemesis robots to earn this badge. Hundred of them. I have fourteen. So this is going to take some time, folks. But let me show you how you do it too. Um, the fastest way I'd say, matter of fact, let's just bore, bore out of here. Fastest way I'd say would be go to P.I. Peregrine, Peregrine Island is a good place to find these little jackasses. Um, they're reasonably tough, uh, but at level 50 plus one, we should be able to stop, stop these bastards pretty damn quick. Let's go to one of the PIs. There's going to be full of some of them, so don't freak out. There's always going to be a zone that you can go to. And I'll show you a good zone for constantly circling around the respawning area. They used to hide around the water, so around the docks. Okay, so right, right here, first let me get to the area. There's one right there, right below my feet. Um, so we'll go circle around here, through here, come back through here, maybe all the way up to that beachhead, and then circle all the way back around and repeat the process. Okay, remember you want to have your buffs on because these guys are going to hit hard. Okay, this is the fake nemesis, and the reason these guys are jerks, uh, we don't care about this riffraff, they're going to be annoying. Well, the reason these guys are going to be a pain in the ass though is because if you don't kill them quick enough, the jackasses bubble up and then they have a, a bubble of protection. So you want to club, 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 knock them around, stun them, whatever you got to do, hold, mobilize won't do shit, uh, but they got to be hold, stunned, or, or knocked up, knocked back, knocked down, any of that works well, because while they're scrambling on their feet, they can't bubble themselves up. Uh, but basically, you're going to circle the area. Don't confuse them with these hulks, these war hulks. They like to hang out together, and those are also nemesis, but it's not the kind that we're looking for. Uh, so then circle over to this area. And again, keep an eye out. A uh, good place, by the way, I know we're coming across it, but it's a good place uh, for Cray, as you see here. But there's also a good place for, um, what do you call those things? Uh, the ghost women, the carnival women, uh, I just can't think of their name right now, uh, but they make the illusory uh, pets and bad guys, uh, there's one right there, and again the Warhawks there, remember the Warhawks explode, so what I would like to do normally is I like to buff up, and I do something like push the bastard out of the way, club him, hit him with a good heavy one two maybe, and then just keep him Right, yeah, 50 plus, I, this would be so easy for you to literally, even in, with one of your weaker tunes, um, assuming you have a decent attack chain, you should be able to, to take these guys out with minimal effort. Uh, and another thing to do is, by the way, is you can ask others to help. You join up on the same team and say, hey, I'm fighting Nemesis, anyone want to help me? Yeah, sure. Uh, their kills count as your kills. So for those of you that really don't want to deal with this crap, because there's a lot of guys to mess around with, right? So uh, like I said, 100 a, a lot. And I'll, I'll plow through them pretty darn quick, but uh, I'll probably fast forward the video so you don't need to see every kill. It's just kind of silly. I'll show you me getting the badge. But um, again, it's one of those where with a team of three people even, you'd be surprised how fast 100 drops down if you, everyone knows roughly where they're searching for. And you know you can trust that the people are actually searching, not you know, mooching off you. Because most well, doesn't hurt you. It just doesn't help you. So, and again, I want to... Push him out the way, because if he's uh, on his back like that, then he can't be doing important stuff like bubbling himself up, right? Oh, that's good. Nice. Oop, and look, I just went right past another. Peak spit on him. That's my Superman cold breath as far as I'm concerned. Not the way you like version of the which is much toxic. Club. He's dead. I was going to hit him one more time, but apparently I don't need to. Okay, so now then, that was the area of this. If you really wanted to push it, sometimes they're over here, sometimes they're not. Uh, beach. It looks like we got a lot of the uh, Ripti and those damn devouring earth. The DE. Yeah, they're annoying. Oh, uh, yeah, here you go. Sometimes they're over here. Those are nemesis, but that's not the kind you want. There's a circle. Oh, there's one. Yay, fake nemesis. Okay. We'll punch him out of the way again. We'll do a little sniper attack at it. Why not? I'll do total focus. Kite me past him. As long as the animation is activated. Oh, damn it. Didn't get him fast enough. See what he did there? That's what we're talking about. So while he's turtled up, 
being a general jackass, I have to wait for him to pop that bubble and attack me again. You want to keep on him, so don't just walk away, but you don't have to attack him. But the second he, that, that inner bubble goes down, you'll know, because the jackass, he will attack you, like so. It's just a delay tactic. You know you're going to kill him. It's just highly annoying when you're hoping to take the bastard out. So again, speed is important. If you do a good quick rotation of tap tap, boom. You usually got a pretty good shot at taking them out before he has a chance to pop that bubble. So, that's basically it. Gonna do all those. Knock out blow. Focus. Oh, wasn't enough to take him out. So when I didn't buff up though, that's probably why. Um, this character has been built. I'll talk to you while I'm doing this stuff, I suppose. This character has been built around the idea of single target damage. And not that I don't do uh, AoE, I have plenty of AoE, well plenty, I have a couple of AoE attacks. I have my uh, Cone Bile Spray, very useful actually. It's a tick, 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 and it's all toxic damage, which is extremely helpful. Um, I have, of course, Irradiate, which is this move here. Boom, off the circle off of me. I don't use that one as much, it's more of a placeholder for uh, power sets. Uh, and of course the nuke, massive ability, I love it. What I mean by placeholders means I don't necessarily use the power, but the power itself uh, serves a purpose. When I actually slot this up proper, three slots of irradiate is enough for me to put eradication three times in there. Three slots of eradication uh, is enough to give you, I want to say, 2.5 or 3.13% defense to energy and native energy attacks. That's pretty useful. While I don't really need the power, I mean, I'll use it, of course, on an attack chain. It's not something that I would rely on. I mean, this is basically what it does. Watch. Boom. And it'll tick, tick, tick some radioactive damage on them, which is basically energy damage in this case. Uh, and it does a minus defense. So that part in the, of itself is helpful. Uh, but uh, it's too melee-centered. And it's coming from someone who's playing as a melee-based character here. That, that's saying something. Uh, it requires me having lots of guys around me for me to be useful, and I'm not survivable enough to pull that shit. So that's what I say. It's more melee centered than I'd like it to be. Uh, it's a PBAOE centered on yourself. Um, if these three guys here, and you'll see it tick, 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 does decent damage. It took them down to more than half. You know, these guys, of course, are weaker than me, so that's a biggie. But the point's still the same. It's not great not without buffing it up a little bit, or at least six slotting it. If you six slotted it, then it'd be useful. Uh, but again, the same principle is you are a blaster, you're not really supposed to be in melee. So, uh, I'm just gonna skim the boots just because I know that sometimes they like to have the thing. And there's the, those, those uh, Harlequin jugglers, the carnies. That's what they were, the carnies, the uh, ones that make the illusionists. They like to hang out in this boat dock area too. And of course there is a defeat badge for them. There's a defeat badge also for getting the Zeus class titans. These are the Hercules. If you ever fight these in a map, the first time, I hate to spoil it for you guys, but for the first time you see two of these side by side, you damage one enough to where it's almost ready to die. If it doesn't have, uh, if it has the opportunity to, it will merge with another one just like itself standing right next to it and it'll turn into a, a Zeus class, a very big son of a bitch, and he hits hard, he has full health all over again, so it basically heals itself by doing this, and becomes an even bigger mecha. And there's, of course, a badge for defeating X number of Zeus uh, class titans, and those things are mean. I'd love it if we got the ability to have those as pets, as lore pets, but I don't think that that's an option. Uh, but, we are zipping around. And sometimes, and I, I hate to say it, sometimes you know you keep coming around to the same areas, and you'll think to yourself, "Gee, didn't I, didn't I fight these same jackasses just a second ago? Were they just here and I just didn't take them out?" Yeah, he probably did. So sometimes it does help to clear them out, especially if it's quick.
having a whole lot of luck here finding these jerks. Where are you, you little bastards? So now we are up to, yeah, 23. So like I said, this will take you some time. You don't have to burn them all in one day. You know, you can you know, piecemeal it every once in a while, come back to them and say, oh, hey, you know, I'm going to fight and wait for someone to come back. I know I'm going to be a PI, so maybe I'll just, you know, stay in the zone and hunt these a little bit more, maybe get like 10 more out of the way. And within a week's time, before you know it, man, that 100 psh, disappears. But I've done days where, like, all I did was hunt stuff. Like the, earlier today, not on this tune, uh, on, uh, Cold Dark Night, one of my other 50s. Um, I hunted a thousand uh, Ritti monkeys. And there's a monkey island in this area, way up here. Cutlass Isles, bunch of Ritti monkeys up there. So you can literally just have fun blasting those bastards. Scrubbing. Oh, 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 oh. And I see, he activated his thing, but I had activated my power first. So it still fires off and I still get a chance to hit. So as long as you land it, sometimes that's all you need. Anyway, um, like I said, I was on the uh, Cold Dark Night earlier today because I was bored. Uh, I literally was hunting Ricky Monkey and I had like a hundred or something already done. I'm like, Jesus, I need to do almost 900. I'm like, well, nothing to do it but to do it. So I just started chopping through them. If you have a couple good AoE attacks, which almost every character should, not all, but some should. Um, it makes it super easy. You just go through that area as long as you're tough enough that you can take the attacks from the monkeys, which I could. And I just AOE'd the shit out of the little bastards, man. Before I know it, I was at like 800, and I'm like, wow, this is going quick. So I just stayed and finished all of them. Club, club. Again, I don't think there's a badge for the War Hulks, but it never hurts to defeat them if you have the opportunity, so feel free to go to town on the jerks. Gotcha first. Nice. And so once you realize where they are, you know, where they spawn, and again, even video maps will tell you some of that information. You'll notice that in this zone, uh, I got Carnies, Cray, uh, Devouring Earth, the Dev, D E, uh, a Mal, I don't know what the Mal's are. It'll come to me in a bit. Uh, but the Nemesis and the Britti um, are in this area of a, a level of 41 to 43 ish. So you'll see, if you scan through them, yeah, Britti down here at 43. Makes sense. So again, these aren't perfect, and again, these are old maps so video maps could be off but once you get the idea of where they're at uh, you, you never really forget I mean hell I remember this from back in the day when I used to play it it was like seven years ago so me and my friends would log on and we get like three of us together and we go circle in the area and it really does speed up like I said you can't deny how much faster it is when there's a team of two to three other people with you because you just literally every time they get a kill as long as they're on your team you know, if you have a team of like, you know, eight even. If they're on the team, they kill something, you get credit for it. So that's some really nice stuff. Especially that's why it's nice in missions, because you'll get a lot. Oh, there's a, there's a Zeus one already preformed. He's a tough little bastard. So he's so resistant, he doesn't even knock back. And they knock out blow. Four hits when I was able to take that jackass down. These are the reasons everyone hates these guys. Oh, Malta. Malta's The sappers sick. No one hates the sappers. Get up, my bastard. Yeah, 
is another tough cookie right here, the gunslingers. They do uber damage. You at this low level, there's no joke. They hit you for really nice pistol damage. And they're really accurate too. So, you see my toggles started to fail. The sap got me. The son of a bitch drained me to the point where uh, I was down to zero. So that one of my toggles fell off. Actually, two of them did. My jumping and my uh, shark skin. But again, just circle that area. You'll get it down before you know it. Now I'm going to stop the video here and link it up once I get the badge or get to the point. I'm almost going to get the badge. So you guys can not be wasting time with this here crap. But I'll see you guys in a moment. And we're back here, buddy. We have farmed for an hour plus, sadly, to get the 98 we're at now. We are two away. And that will show you how we ding. And as soon as I find two more of those fake nemesi to take out. Uh, it has been a successful farm. It has taken a little longer. Again, I have been doing this solo. I would not want to do this again. Um, unless I really, really wanted those extra 10% of hit points. And that's a lot to turn down. Uh, for tunes that you really want to have maxed out, like your favorites, I can totally see this being something that I would invest in. But, I did this on another tune, and I didn't have nowhere near as many to farm. Like, by the time I got around to wanting to do it, uh, I had like 90 nemesis already dead. So it was one of those where, hey, one more right there. Uh, by the time I really had a chance to, to wail on the bastard, uh, it really was like running around like two or three laps, and bam, I was done. So. This is not nowhere near the same, and I had a massive dry spell when someone was farming him on the other side, like following me in my footsteps or something. Uh, not that they were following me per se, but that's the, the pattern that everyone was using was the same one. Um, but uh, I had a massive patch for at least five minutes of me circling and circling and circling. I couldn't find one guy. So it does hit dry patches, uh, and I did the typical. Uh, those of you, like, for example, I'll go over here. And I'll club this guy, take this dude out, and the reason I'll do that is because when I circle around, I want to make sure that there's new guys in that location, because there are almost always guys in those locations. So that's what you're basically going to want to do. Fortunately, this tune's really good at you know, single target hammering shit to death. Uh, it's one of the things that I built it for. So he's fun. Uh, he'll be even better with that extra 10% to his hit points. And currently, just so we're clear, right now my hit points are at... Uh, uh, 1,281.6 can very make out that 0.6 I'm like there's no way I have 12,000 points um, so this will be a step in the right direction and I think cap for blaster types I want to say uh, right 1606 now maybe that has changed uh, since there's uh, under new management maybe they've raised the cap I know that the cap has different than what I saw on a wiki for my Rachno soldier Oh, uh, which seemed weird to me or not. Was it Ragnar Soldier was my scrapper? Uh, anyway, for a character that was literally listed as having a, a 2,000 change whatever hit point cap and I was actually exceeding it. And I'm like, oh, well, that's weird. So I don't know if maybe the, the cap doesn't include these little bonuses or if they do. Maybe that's probably part of the problem. But um, it's definitely different than what the wiki was telling me. So it's entirely possible that those numbers are... A grain of salt could be wrong. Um, pardon me for my voice going out here. I've actually been sick for the past few days. Uh, weirdly, I threw my back out. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, it doesn't help that I'm sitting here all day long playing video games. I'll grant you that. But um, yeah, I like back spasms and everything else, and I didn't know what the hell was wrong with me. So I had um, spent a couple of days there lounging in a, a barco lounger. Uh, which actually felt great while I was lounging. The minute I had to get up, it hurt like holy hell. So I realized that that was probably a mistake. It was probably making the muscles weaker. So, um, oh, 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 is that our last guy? Where's my badge number? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's go out in a blaze of glory, shall we? Aim. Build up. Sniper attack. And we'll do the skadoosh. Badge earned. To me. Another badge earned, and that's the Freedom Family Reserve member badge. You receive Freedom Family Reserve, you got an accolade power, and again, a permanent buff to my hit points. Another 120.47. I'll take that. So that's putting me at 1402. 
very nice. And again, with that, my name is Brother Mute. Please like, subscribe. I'll trim this down so the two parts are merged together so you don't have to watch the hour and a half of hunting. It really did take that long, and I was soloing it for the most part. At one point, I did uh, get an assistant. Uh, he was out hunting as well, uh, but he was done in like two kills. He wasn't actually hunting with a badge. He was actually hunting for a mission where it was a kill nemesis. So he had like 18 to take out, and I had like 50 still to take out. So he's like, I'm done now. And I'm like, cool. <laughs> Thanks for your help, bud. <laughs> it's not his fault. Uh, he asked if, it, if, he, uh, if I needed any help, and I told him, no, nah, I didn't want him to have to kill the rest of his evening just helping me hunt stuff. Uh, but with that, again, my name is Brother Pete. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, tell me what you guys think. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.